Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today we're going to talk about the Viprion chassis. And so, you know, we, we have different big IP platforms. We have the virtual editions, we have the appliances, and we also have the Viprion, and that is chassis based uh, for those who need the uh, ability to scale uh, beyond what a single appliance uh, would be. So if you look at uh, traditional ADC scaling in, you know, an environment, you buy um, a big IP, and behind your big IP, and say that's an HA pair, um, or maybe even a cluster of three, so your active, active standby or whatever, um, but then you have a server farm behind your big IP. I'll just say server farm there. And so as your server farm grows, and as your, uh, your traffic out here in the world grows, that is client, uh, poorly written. And uh, as you know, your client traffic grows and this uh, scales quite a bit, uh, perhaps this infrastructure um, cannot handle that. And so at that point, you're looking at adding more and more chassis. And in this scenario, you have uh, a certain number of VIPs here. So you have, maybe you have five VIPs here and five VIPs here and five VIPs here. Maybe this is a bigger appliance that you bought, so maybe you have 10 there and 10 there. Uh, but you're gonna have to manage getting the client traffic to all of these individual VIPs, either through a service like uh, you know, RFID DNS or, or, or some other ability to get all the traffic to these individual uh, virtual servers because you can't address all of your traffic to one. And that's where one of the options that you have with uh, a Viprion comes into play is that you have this concept of a super VIP. And so if you have a Viprion chassis, and there are different chassis options, there you've got your small chassis and your big chassis, but, uh, but it's all blade based. And so you can start with a monster chassis and a single blade, and then as your traffic needs grow, you can, if you have all your configuration on a single blade, um, you can add another blade, pop it in, and you have just doubled your capacity and you don't need to change configuration at all. And so that concept of a super VIP is, is very appealing uh, to customers that want to grow as they go. Uh, but you can also do other things like uh, VCMP, which is the vir virtual clustered uh, multiprocessing. And so you can carve up on a, on a Viprion these blades into individual big IPs or virtual big IPs. And so uh, the chassis becomes the host um, and, and then you have the uh, virtualization tier to where all these guests on the host become their own big IPs. And so even in this scenario, if you have the single blade with multiple guests, you add another blade and then these uh, can become, uh, let me use a different color here. Um, so these guests now have multiple resources in here um, across blades. And so now, with a secondary blade, you have uh, in-chassis redundancy for your services and an extra scale. Um, and then, of course, if you want to, you can also have your other HA options that go to, uh, you know, their inter-chassis HA. So you have a lot of HA options, a lot of different uh, failure protections with, uh, with that. And so uh, those are some of your your HA, and then wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the Viprion architecture itself. And so you look at, uh, you know, the, uh, the way the blades work. And so you have your chassis, and we'll just look at a, a four, uh, you know, a four blade uh, system. And so if we break this up into four individual blades, you know, of course you have all the same network ports that are available, um, and then you have your, your CPU and memory. Uh, so let's just say we break this up into uh, four CPUs, and you have different options on different blades, uh, and, and uh, you know the different blades can fit in the different chassis. Um, but let's assume we have all the CPUs, we have the FPGAs for uh, the high-speed bridge and other functions, um, and then, uh, so, Let's say uh, CPU, 
is this tier. And then your high speed bridge is that tier. And then you have on the blade, you have your, your DAG, which is your disaggregator. And then you have the switch fabric, okay? And so, you know, that scenario across four blades. And so what that allows you to do is, you know, even with a, a virtual um, uh, edition of the big IP, the DAG, that the role of that is so for each of these cores on your blade is a, an instance of TMM. And so how the traffic gets routed through, uh, or, you know, from interfaces through the big IP out to servers is this process of, of disaggregation. And so that's hash-based. And, and it will direct you, so if traffic comes in, it will come to one of these cores once the, um, uh, you know, once the blade is selected, then the core is selected, and, and so there's uh, functions there, but it, but it does keep it um, uh, symmetric as it goes from client to server and, and server back. And so uh, great um, uh, reliability, great, um, distribution uh, so that you're using the resources that you have and, uh, and the scale uh, then is, is linear uh, with this system. And, and so from a networking perspective, how, you know, how, do you, how do you configure up all these different blades? And you know, uh, we could go on and on. There's tons that we can learn about. Um, there's tons that we can learn about the uh, Viprion and, and we'll have uh, future videos as you guys have more questions and, and you want to see uh, additional things. But as we talk about how we configure up the networking, of course, you know, also on each one of these, you have a console port and a management port. And, you know, highly recommended that you connect each one from each blade. You lose a blade and then, um, you know, you would like to figure out what's going on in that blade. Uh, so being able to get to it out of band um, is an important thing. Uh, these do set up with a, a cluster IP so that when you connect to the, the floating, uh, you'll connect to the primary blade, um, and then each one is assigned you know, its own um, IP address as well. Uh, so when all the blades are functional, you can get to uh, each blade independently, but in the event it fails, you need to be able to get to it. That's where your management and console port connectivity come into play. And then um, if we switch gears and, you know, we represented these as CPUs, but say for now, we're going to represent these um, now as uh, interfaces. And then if I'm going to connect this up to my upstream, say that I uh, set this up, I'm going to connect and say I only have two blades in this system. So we're going to pretend that this is only a two blade system and I'm gonna connect uh, ports one and two, and I'm gonna trunk those upstream. And uh, what's gonna happen here is if you do this, number one, if this blade fails, you're looking at a chassis failover because now uh, you have no network connectivity. Uh, so that's not, that's not so good. But even when it's working, uh, you're putting extra load on the switch fabric because these have to now, uh, traffic's still gonna, even though you're connected here, traffic is gonna be handed off to this other blade for processing and so now all of your traffic is routing on the on the back channel over this blade that has to be handed back and then out to the network and so the better way uh, to do this when you're deploying is to take an interface from blade one and an interface from blade two and trunk those up to you know your switch infrastructure and in this case now um, whichever blade you're on, it will prefer uh, the local interface to egress traffic on. And so regardless of where it comes in, wherever it's processed, it's gonna go out that, um, out that interface. And so this is uh, highly preferred to this. We can cover more network scenarios in the future. Uh, if you wanna see uh, different scenarios and we'd be, we'd be happy to go through that, just leave some comments in the video and uh, we'll dig in in a future episode. So hopefully this is good. Uh, very basic intro to, to Viprion. We'll link some resources in the video if, uh, if you haven't had a chance to play with Viprion and uh, you want to go out and learn some more. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you out there in the community.